Yes, good morning everyone. Welcome to Eklavya Online Classes. Today we start our new chapter that is Gift of the Maggie. The Gift of the Maggie. The Gift of the Maggie is written by the American writer O. Henry. American writer O. Henry. Clear? This is written by the American writer O. Henry. His short stories are known for the video with good characterism and surprise endings. Means in, the, in his story always there is surprise ending. So everyone listen carefully, open your book, okay? And those who don't have book, I send pictures and phone. So you all send, I send PDF. So you all open that PDF and read, start reading. So the present short story is about a poverty striking young couple who face a difficult situation. This is poverty se related hai, ek young couple ki story. Those who face difficult situation, when they secretly buy gifts for each other with very little money, means बहुत कम पैसे से वो दोनों आपस में एक दूसरे के लिए surprisingly gift लाती थी. What is special about the gifts? Are they truly priceless? Let us about find out. Okay, so everyone open book. So what is the story? One dollar and eighty-seven cents. Cents means a small unit of money. Okay, so that was all, and sixty cent of it was in pennies. Penny is saved one and two at a time by bulldozing the grocer and the vegetable man and the butcher until one's cheeks burned with this silent. Means pennies they give to vegetables, a man, vegetable man, and grocer. So their face is very silent, burn. Imputation of Paris Percy money that such close dealing implied. Three times Della counted it. Della counted it means they have means they have very little money. So the, uh, Della counted three times. One dollar and eighty seven cents. And the next day would be Christmas. Ab next day kya tha? Christmas tha. Or dono ko ek dusre ko gift dena tha. There was clearly nothing that Della could do to add to this amount to translate her dream into action. वो खुद का जो dream था वो action में convert करना चाहती थी. So she started crying, not knowing what to do. और वो रोने लगी, उसको समझ नहीं आ रहा था कि वो क्या करे. कल Christmas है and she started crying. Della finished her cry and attended to her cheeks with the powder drag. अब उसने रोना चुप किया and he started her cheeks with the powder rag. She stood by the window and looked out doodly at a grey cat walking a grey fence in a grey backyard. Means उसने cat को देखा जो grey backyard में run कर रही थी. Tomorrow will would be Christmas day and she had only dollar one point eighty seven with cents. Okay, not which to buy Jim a present. जिस मींस उन पैसों से ही वो जिम के लिए प्रेजेंट लाना चाहती थी और उसके पास कितना सेंट्स था 1.87 सेंट्स क्लियर नाउ आफ्टर दैट व्हाट हैपेंड शी हैड बीन सेविंग एवरी पेनी शी कुड फॉर मंथ्स विद दिस रिजल्ट 20 डॉलर्स अ वीक डजंट गो फार एक्सपेंसेस हैड बीन ग्रेटर देन शी हैड कैलकुलेटेड जिस मींस उसने जितना कैलकुलेट किया था एक्सपेंसेस उससे ज्यादा लग रहे थे they always are. She had only sent dollar one point eighty seven to buy a present for Jim. Or uske pas kitna cent tha? Dollar tha one point eighty seven cents. Her Jim. Many a happy hour she had spent planning for something nice for him. Usne khub sare ghante means waste spend ki hai. Uske liye kuch acha sochne ke liye. Something fine and rare and sterling, something little bit near to being worthy of the owner of being owned by Jim. Suddenly an idea struck her mind. Ek idea aya uski mind mein. Her eyes were shining brilliantly. But her face had lost its color within men, 20 seconds के अंदर अंदर उसका face का जो color था वो चला गया था उड़ा उड़ा होना rapidly she pulled down her hair and let it fall to its full length उसने खुद के hairs को खोला और उसने length देखना चालू की now there were two possessions of the James Dillingham Youngs that is Jim in which they both took a mighty pride one was Jim's gold watch that had been his father's and his grandfather's and the other was Dela's hair 
ओके जिम के लिए तो उसकी गोल्ड वॉच इंपॉर्टेंट थी और उसके डेला के लिए उसके हेयर्स थे जो वो सेल आउट करके कुछ ला सकते थे एक दूसरे के लिए हैड द क्वीन ऑफ सेवा लिव्ड इन द फ्लैट अक्रॉस द एयर शेफ डेला वुड हैव लेट हर हेयर हैंग आउट द विंडो सम डे टू ड्राई जस्ट टू डेप्रिशिएट हर मेजेस्टी ज्वेल एंड गिफ्ट हेड किंग सोलोमन बीन द जेनेटर विद ऑल हिज ट्रेजर्स पाइल्ड अप इन द बेसमेंट Jim would have pulled out his watch every time he passed just to see him pluck at his beard from envy. So now Della's beautiful hair fell about her rippling. Rippling means moving in small waves. Waves ki tarah is means lehra rahe the and shining like a cascade of brown waters. It reached below her knee and made itself almost a garment for her. Means wo uske jo hairs the wo knee se niche aate the. and then she did it up again nervously and quickly on went her old brown jacket on went her old brown hat with the whirl of his skirts and with the brilliant sparkle still in her eyes she fluttered out the door and down the stairs of the street where she stopped the sign read many sofreni Here, goods of all kinds. One flight up Della ran and recollected herself painting, painting. Made me large to white chilly. Hardly looked the sovereign. Will you buy my hair? Asked Della. Della ne pucha ki aap mere hairs purchase karenge. I buy hair, sir. Mad said Mad. Mad me ne kaha. Ha, I buy your hairs. Clear? Now, next. Lifting the mask with a practiced hand, uh, sorry, I buy here, sir, madam. Take your hat off and let's have a sight at the looks of it. मैं मुझे आप अपनी हेड अठाई ही मुझे आपकी हेयर्स देखने हैं. Down rippled the brown cascade. Twenty dollars said mad. Said mad. Madam ने कहा कि मैं इसके twenty dollars आपको दूंगी. Lifting the mask with a practiced hand. Give it to me quick, said Della. Oh, and the next two hours she was ransacking the stores for Jim's present. Ransacking, searching thoroughly. Okay. She found it at last. It surely had been made for Jim and no one else. There was no other like it in any of the stores. It was. It was a platinum fob chain. It was a platinum means उसने खुद के जो हेयर्स थे उनको सेल आउट करके ट्वेंटी डॉलर कमाए और ट्वेंटी डॉलर से वो खुद मीन्स जिम के लिए एक फॉप चेन चेन लेके आई ओके सिंपल एंड चेस्ट एंड डिजाइन प्रॉपरली प्रोक्लेमिंग इट्स वैल्यू बाई सब्सटेंस अलोन इट वॉज इवन वर्दी ऑफ द वॉच एज सोन एज शी सो इट शी न्यू दैट इट मस्ट बी जिम्स इट वॉज लाइक हिम Twenty one dollars they took from her for it, and she hurried home with the eighty one eighty seven cents. Means, उसके पास twenty one dollar हो गए और eighty seven cents. With that chain on his watch, Jim might be properly anxious about the time in any company. Now, when Della reached home, her intoxication, into excitement, में वो घर आई, gave way a little to prudence and reason. She got out her curling irons and lighted the gas and went to work repairing the ravages made by generosity added to love. Within forty minutes, her head was covered with tiny close-lying curls that made her look wonderfully like a truant schoolboy. की तरह उसका जो look था वो schoolboy की तरह लग रहा था. She looked at her reflection in the mirror long, carefully and critically. वो खुद को देख रही थी. If Jim doesn't kill me, she said to herself before he takes a second look at me. Hail, he will say I look like a Coney Island chorus girl. But what could I do? Who? Oh, what could I do with the dollar and eighty-seven cents? At seven o'clock, the coffee was made and the frying pan was on the back of the stove hot and ready to cook the chops. Jim was never late. Never late. Della doubled the food chain, fob chain, ko usne double kiya in her hand and sat on the corner of the table near the door that he always entered. जहाँ से वो enter होता था, वहाँ पे वो जाकर बैठ गई. Then she heard these steps on the stairs. उसने उसके आने की आवाज़ सुनाई दी. And she turned white for just a moment. She had a habit for saying little silent prayers about the simplest everybody thing, everyday. Things and now she 
विस्पर्ड प्लीज गॉड मेक हिम थिंक आई एम स्टिल प्रिट मीन्स उसको ऐसा सोचने पे मजबूर कर देना गॉड कि मैं अभी भी सुंदर लग रही हूँ द डोर ओपन एंड जिम स्टेप इन एंड क्लोज इट मीन्स जिम एंटर ही लुक द थिन एंड वेरी सीरियस पुअर फेलो ही वॉज ओनली ट्वेंटी टू एंड टू बी बर्डर बर्डन विद अ फैमिली और ट्वेंटी टू का था पर उसके ऊपर पूरी फैमिली का बर्डन था ही नीडेड अ न्यू ओवर कोट एंड ही वॉज विदाउट ग्लव्स वो ग्लव्स के बिना था ओके जिम स्टॉप्ड इन साइड द डोर हिज आईज वर फिक्स अपॉन डेला उसकी आंखें जो है डेला के ऊपर जाके रुक गई एंड देर वॉज एन एक्सप्रेशन इन दैम दैट शी कुड नॉट रीड एंड इट टेरीफाइड इट वॉज नॉट एंगर नोर सरप्राइज नोर डिसअप्रूवल नोर हॉर नोर एनी ऑफ द सेंटिमेंट्स दैट शी हैड बीन प्रिपेयर फॉर ही सिंपली स्टेयर्ड एट हर फिक्सडली एंड दैट पिक्यूलर एक्सप्रेशन ऑन हिज फेस वो उसको देखे जा रहा था Della wriggled off the table and went for him. और वो वहां जाके बैठ गई Jim darling, she cried. वो she start crying. Don't look me, look at me that way. आप मुझे ऐसे मत देखिए I had my hair cut off and sold because I couldn't have lived through Christmas without giving you a present. क्योंकि मैं आपको Christmas पे present दिए बिना नहीं रह सकती थी और मेरे पास पैसे नहीं थे तो मैंने आपके लिए मेरे हेयर्स बेच के और मैंने आपके लिए प्रेजेंट खरीदा है इट विल ग्रो आउट अगेन मेरे हेयर्स जो हैं वो वापस आ जाएंगे यू डोंट माइंड ओके इट विल ग्रो आउट अगेन ओके सो यू डोंट यू वोट माइंड विल यू आई जस्ट हैड टू डू इट माई हेयर ग्रोज ऑल फुली फास्ट मेरे जो हेयर्स है वो हमेशा फास्टली उगते हैं सो से मेरी क्रिसमस जेम एंड लेट्स बी हैप्पी यू डोंट नो वॉट अ नाइस वॉट अ ब्यूटिफुल नाइस गिफ्ट आई हैव गॉट फॉर यू मैं आपके लिए क्या गिफ्ट लेकर आई हूँ आपको नहीं पता यू हैव कट ऑफ योर हेयर आज जिम लेबोरेसली विद मच एक्सर्शन एंड एफर्ट कट इट ऑफ एंड सोल्ड इट सेट डेला डोंट यू लाइक मी जस्ट एज वेल एनी हाउ आई एम वी आई एम मी विदाउट माई हेयर एड एंड आई Jim looked about the room curiously. Now Jim looked about the room curiously. You say your hair is gone, he said with an air almost of idiocy. You needn't look for it, said Della. It's sold. I tell you, sold and gone too. मेरे हेयर जा चुके हैं and I sold it. Okay, it's Christmas Eve, boy. Be good to me. आज क्रिसमस है तो आप मेरे लिए अच्छे बनकर रहिए फॉर इट वेंट फॉर यू मे बी दी हेयर्स ऑफ माई हेड वर नंबर्ड शी वेंट ऑन विद सडन सीरियस स्वीटनेस बट नो बडी कुड एवर काउंट माई लव फॉर यू आपका के लिए जो मेरा प्यार है वो कोई भी काउंट नहीं कर सकता शेल आई पुट दी चॉप्स ऑन हिम जिम ड्रू अ पैकेज फ्रॉम हिज ओवर कोट पॉकेट एंड थ्रू इट अपॉन द टेबल डोंट मेक एनी मिस्टेक डेला इज सेड अबाउट मी But if you will unwrap that package, you may see why you had me going a while at first. White fingers and nimble tore at the string and paper, and the, and then an ecstatic scream of joy, and then alas, a quick feminine, feminine change to hysterical tears and wails, necessitating the immediate employment of all the comforting powers of the Lord of the Flat. For there lay the combs, the set of combs that Della had worshipped long in a broad way window. Beautiful combs, pure tortoise shell with jewelled rims. They were expensive combs, she knew, and her heart had simply craved and yearned over them without the least hope of possession. And now they were hers, but the tresses that should have adorned the coveted adornment were gone. Coveted adornment means beautified had gone, beautifulness had gone, but she hugged them to her bosom. उसने हक किया and at length she was able to look up with dim eyes. उसने dim eyes से देखा and smile and say, my hair grows so fast, Jim. मेरे hair दोबारा आ जाएंगे, Jim. तुम इतना sad मत हो. And then Della leaped up like a little signed cat and cried, ho ho, and she started crying. Jim had not yet seen his beautiful present. उसका जो beautiful gift वो लेकर आई थी वो भी जिम ने नहीं देखा था 
she held it out to him eagerly upon her open palm the dull precious metal seemed to flash with the reflection of her bright and ardent spirit isn't in the isn't it a dandy zim i hunted all over town to find it you have you will have to look at the time i hundred times a day now give me your watch i want to see how it looks on it okay now i now give me your watch now dela said to um, jim that give me your watch i uh, want to see your watch how it looked instead of obeying jim tumbled down on the couch and put his hand under the back of his head and smiled now dela said he let's put our christmas present away and keep them a while they are too nice to use just at present i sold the watch to get the money to buy your combs now what the that uh, jim present gave a take for him he sold his watch and he bring comb for her and now suppose you put the chops on now wo itna excitement mein uske liye combs lekar aaya tha but she sell her hair the magi as you know were wise men wonderfully wise men who brought gift to the baby in the manager they invented the art of giving christmas presents being wise their gifts were no doubt wise ones possibly bearing the privilege of exchange in case of duplication and here i have lamely related to you the uneventful chron- chronicle of two polish children means in a flat who most unwisely sacrificed for each other the greatest treasures of their house now the maggie as you know were wise men okay so they mm, discuss about the two beautiful children means they both sacrifice with each other like a dela and a jim okay but in a last word to the wise of these days let it be said that of all who give gifts these two were the wisest gift these gifts are very wisest of all who give and receive gifts such as they are wisest everywhere they are wisest so they are maggi they are maggi so this is the chapter of the gift of the maggi okay so this is the story of the gift of the maggi so everyone open your notebook and start writing word files uh, sorry hard words first of all write down butcher attended possessions possessions brilliant brilliant anxious anxious curling curling after whispered whispered after that terrified terrified stabbed burdened stabbed after that burdened sentiments sentiments comforting comforting yearned duplication duplication unwisely so these are the 15 hard words of this chapter clear so chapter reading portion completed hard word completed in next class we discuss their word files and question answers so thank you <coughs>